Today we speak about being grounded, so what does it mean? It means uh, being in control, but not from the mind point of view, being aware, being conscious of what is happening inside ourselves from a body point of view, from a, um, an emotional point of view, from a soul point of view, and around ourselves as well. So being aware of our own uh, uh, well-being. And grounding uh, uh, helps to strengthen our parasympathetic uh, response, uh, which is our body's natural ability to return to calm and uh, a normal functioning when something happens so the parasympathetic response uh, counteracts the um, the fight uh, or the freeze uh, response that may happen so grounding activities uh, um, help us to activate uh, this uh, safe feeling that is in our brain and body simply by reminding ourselves uh, that we are in the present moment. So we are here and now, everything is happening right now. There is not before and after. And when we are grounded and calm, we are able to work through emotions, uh, memories uh, in, a, in a healthy way. Um, we are able to find uh, solutions uh, to challenges uh, that uh, uh, are happening inside ourselves, being aware also that events that are happening uh, are always uh, uh, sent from the divine, from the spirits, so they are always here to allow our soul uh, to learn some, uh, um, some lessons, so instead of being overwhelmed uh, we just uh, um, realize that there are these natural abilities inside ourselves to, to be able to respond uh, in a specific way this is uh, um, we can of course uh, being able to train ourselves and our body with a variety of grounding techniques in a way um, that uh, would come as an automatic pilot, as Jere Robindo used to say, uh, whenever we need that uh, sense of calmness to come through. So just that they, they become habits within ourselves, so that then uh, the, the point of anxiety and stress don't come in, but they are simply um, placed in a, in a quiet mood instead of just allowing our uh, our life uh, to be uh, surrounded uh, and mm, to be uh, they they to be in control of what is happening. So of course, uh, as uh, uh, one of the main uh, and, uh, techniques that we can use, uh, we can also always start from the bad press, which is also an element element of uh, uh, ecstatic experience in shamanism, because there are different techniques that we could uh, we could use uh, to reach an altered state of consciousness so the breast is not only an element that is the most important part because it's the bridge between our mind and our heart so in the moment we are able to um, have control of our breath uh, we are creating uh, this uh, contact between our emotions and our thoughts and so we are able to create this vehicle as a grounding experience the, among the technique of breath that we can use, there could be something that uh, would be a simple technique of uh, counting, so from, uh, from 1 to 10 uh, or uh, vice versa, uh, being connecting each time that we are counting with an inhaling. Uh, we could start, of course, with a, with a technique of starting from our nose, but then shamanically we would use uh, uh, our mouth to, um, to be in the process of breathing simply because when we are breathing in and out from our mouth is less likely that our mind is taking over because we need to be present, we need to remember to breathe while when we are breathing with our nose we don't remember, it's just something, something comes automatic and then it's when the mind comes in and there are all the disturbances and the thoughts uh, that can come and allow us to be away from actually from what we are doing. Of course, the breathing in and out uh, is a technique that can be done on a slower level or till increase to, uh, to a way if we want to reach a different purpose. From the, for the grounding purpose, it would simply be a breath of consciousness. So in, inhaling and exhaling from the mouth, in a, in a slow and calm way because that would have the um, ability to uh, change the vibration inside our body and send ourselves down because of course being grounded it means of course send the energy down instead of just sending it up which would of course be the realm of the mind we are simply sending the energy uh, down 
Then another technique that we could use would be like the triple mudra of embrace or the butterfly um, uh, postures, the butterfly mudra as well. So being aware and feeling uh, the uh, vibration inside our body, uh, feeling the sensation inside our heart and simply being in touch, in physical touch and what is, our, is happening inside us. And here as well, we have the opportunity to feel if the beats of our hearts uh, are, uh, are too fast. Uh, and then again, we can, we can come in with, uh, with, uh, with the breath. Then in general, as a grounding techniques, uh, the best thing would be just simply have a walk in nature, which, which is the easiest way to do just wherever we are, reach uh, a green space and simply breathe in a natural way and walk in a natural way. So this doesn't require uh, anything specific to remember, but it's the easiest way because of course nature is the, uh, the biggest healer that uh, we have a disposal for free each time, every time, and also by simply being near a plant when we are uh, in our home, if uh, the weather doesn't allow in terms of conditions to go out, being near a plant uh, and the, the presence of the plant uh, would just uh, interact as, as a representation of the whole uh, universe and all the whole nature, nature in that moment.